The University of Kansas Health System is giving the public a rare look inside the hospital's morgue today as doctors continue battling the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm Pat McGonigal. And I'm Kim Burns. Thanks for joining us. Fox Force John Pepitone is live outside KU Hospital. And you're going to explain how they're running out of space to store bodies, John? Yeah, that's right, Kim. You know, some viewers might find the video that we're about to show you disturbing. You're going to see dead bodies dead people in bags stored in refrigeration rooms. Many of the bags are marked COVID positive, meaning that those folks died from COVID-19. Now, nine bodies can be kept in refrigeration rooms here at KU Hospital, and some have been temporarily stored outside of refrigeration when the hospital knows a funeral home is on its way to get them. COVID patients are double bagged before being moved to the morgue, and the body bag is marked COVID positive as an extra level of precaution for hospital workers. KU Hospital says it may have to bring in refrigerated storage trucks if things get much worse. We're right on the cusp of needing more capacity, and the only reason that we're able to get by without additional um, for example, freezer trucks, mm -hmm. and which we really don't want to do because that seems, I mean, that's very impersonal, is because they do such a great job down there of getting folks to funeral homes and getting them to the next step. Now, the hospital says it's not equipped to do autopsies on COVID patients, and in most cases, families do not request autopsies. The health system also released video showing just how many people and how much equipment is needed to care for COVID patients in the hospital's intensive care unit. 28 patients, uh, COVID patients, currently are in intensive care with 14 of those on ventilators. For some, seeing is believing and doctors hope that showing uh, what's happening inside the health system may convince a few skeptics that hospitals really are facing a crisis in trying to provide patients with the proper care that they deserve. Pat, Kim? Yeah, it's very striking, obviously, John. I remember a couple of weeks ago, some asked if there might be some of those mobile morgue units that we've seen in New York City. But again, as you're saying here, the whole purpose behind this is to send a very clear, um, sobering, stark message, right? Yeah, that's right. You know, we did hear from uh, mask opponents in particular earlier this week who flat out said they didn't believe that the health care system was being overwhelmed. They didn't think a lot of pe people were being treated for COVID. And I think the hospital, in a sense, is trying to counter that. It's also interesting to note that a year ago, back when the pandemic started almost two years ago now, the hospital did have refrigerated storage trucks on hand. At the time, though, they didn't need them. Wow, boy. All right, John Pepitone, live this hour. Thanks for that.